There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. Well, there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerka engineers do it? Ah, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashyyyk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager.
Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek, but good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the? It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed before access. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. Corruption has resulted in gaps appearing in my memory and in that of the original installation. It could be theorized that these gaps are intentional, but I have no information on that. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt to access original system memory. The current purpose of this installation is defense. Error, that information is not available. Accessing, I will answer an Error, corruption, extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk's forests is a direct result. Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication 29,642 years before current Republic standard. 
Agricultural record indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Error. Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. It could be expected that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashik also accelerated the evolution of various species. No further information is available. There is too much corrupted data. Error. Information regarding the builders of this installation has been corrupted. No evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. Answer will be given within... Accessing? Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been... There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will... Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? The temperament of a companion is unreliable at best. You wisely trade the threat of one year or five for none or two. This machine certainly seems to want a very specific type of response. In this instance, the Wookiee is unreliable. His family has been a mire of treachery. I judge the answer correct. You display the proper behavior to match the pattern in memory. Evaluation will continue. Hypothetical. You are at war. Deciphering an intercepted code, you learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in ten days, and they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? This is no decision. I ask again, do you save your people or abandon them for the sake of the war? Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? Very good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. Ultimate victory required the deaths of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. Very good reasoning. I will apply it to the rest of the evaluation. You begin to match the pattern in memory. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? No, you cannot hide behind their greater morality. This is a single attack. The enemy does not intend a sustained conflict. There is no war to end. You must choose the outcome based only on its immediate benefits and consequences.
But if nothing happens, your people will have no need of heroes. No, they do not see a threat. You have coddled them. Your empire will be brought down by introspection. You have failed to match the pattern in memory. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. That information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. <laughs> Ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. Might explain why it's so dangerous down here. An interesting theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops.
Can I suggest?
he's almost feral after all this time. <laughs> Calm yourself, Freya. We are friends. <laughs> Don't you remember me? <laughs> well, this <laughs> his pursuers lose it for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Oh, <laughs> 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 
And you need... What can I do? Boop. 
What? Ha! I'm here. Uh, I... What can I do? Never too old for this. Let's uh, that. Yes, I'm here. Uh, see what you got. Yes. Not this again. <laughs>
Yes? Yes. Yes.
kukuno no ba mulera di kun. Tolpa da pongwale. Takom juz dach miki. Kuyami juz chikatan. Mucho shak pacha. Chikun ita. How can I help? Then I suggest we move on. How can I help? I can try. Then I said,
Yes? How may I be of assistance to you? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. They were so very alive, so full of hope and energy and zeal. In retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting. But to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. I know that. I would they were enthralling, not at the peace they brought. The Jedi left. The people grew. The oppressed become the new generation. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. Of course it was. They took their frustrations and hate out on us. Because the but no one looks out for the injustices we see. But don't you see? The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. I... I... But let us not speak more of this now. Yes. I... I never told you where I came from. I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who... Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my child. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you. There is no emotion. I suppose you did what you had to, and it could not have been avoided. The Republic needs you, and but it is so hard to lose your entire power. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything... I am sorry. I will try... Yes. What is... I was... It was... Living for years in a place with no sun. Living... There was always the danger of Rakul's come. My family and I struggled to eat taxes from the corrupt government. And of course, there was the constant every once in a while, a rich human. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. The Jedi who encouraged me to... I am sorry. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. 
another story for another. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like to speak to me? Well, I mentioned before. In the early days of the Mandalorian War, Cathar was there, yes. They sought to... They swooped down from space. We did the resist. But in the end, we were doomed. We were not members of the Republic. Cathar, our interstellar communication, we knew what the most we could do was... Most did not make it. My parents carried me as a baby with them. They fled as far as they were able. But Taras was a... Perhaps they were not. My father... My father... But we are warriors. It runs so he would get intoxicated. Killed by a man who provoked him into a fight. My... I am so... How may I be of assistance? What is it? I have been thinking much about our journey. I am not used to such unbi- We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Yes, it was. It is- You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. Yes, and that is my point. Just- how may I be of assistance? What is it? Of course. How can I help? Yes, I promised you an answer when we reached the Ebon Hawk, didn't I? But I'm afraid you won't like it. We should have some privacy for this. You're stronger than I am. And there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some ways you make me feel weak, like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful bond. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? You... you mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I... I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... Okay, you've made your point. Now shut up and kiss me, you fool. We shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. The Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. It was... it was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have. I'm sorry, no. I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi, we can't act like this. Not now. Not where we still have to deal with Malak. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. I have to get out of here before somebody sees us together.
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malik. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. How can I help? We've we've already been over this. It was a moment we need to stay focused on stopping dark. So until our mission is over, we need to act with discretion.
You're back! I knew you'd come through for me! I knew I could count on you! Uh, you do have a tech land for me, right? Sorry, like I said before, I don't have any credits on me. And Greta won't lend me any. It's like he doesn't trust me to pay him back or something. But you come through on this, and I promise you'll get a huge payday down the road. Two... Th no! Three thousand credits! How's that sound? Come to Papa, you sweet simian organ. It may not look like much, but once I turn this into a bottle of Theresian ale, it'll end up being worth a fortune. Thanks, Mission. You won't regret helping me out with this. Please, Griff, let this be the last time. No more cons, no more scams, no more schemes. That's all I ask. Hey, sis, no need to worry about that. I've turned over a new leaf. From now on, I'm gonna stay out of trouble and do things right. And once we've cornered the market on Theresian Ale, good things will be heading my way. Then I'll make it up to your mission. Just wait, you'll see. You know, once we synthesize this and start brewing Theresian Ale in mass quantities, we're gonna be looking for some investors. You give me a couple of hundred credits, and I can get you in on the ground floor. You'll get a return of, oh, at least 20 times your investment. Hey! Don't worry, you'll get your credits as soon as we start mass-producing that Theresian Ale. I just wanted to know if you were interested in an even bigger payoff. You don't know much about business, do you? When an opportunity like this comes along, you have to jump at it. Come on, what do you say? It's your loss. I better get started brewing that ale. Meet me back here later and I'll give you a down payment on what I owe you.
I'm here. Thank you. 
What can I do? Sure.
Chewapping. Thank you. 